Okay, so I am going to go to the S share. So computer, S share, north, all students. Then there's a folder called Google Earth Files. From inside there, I'm going to open topographic map. And that should load right up in Google Earth. You can see over in my panel right here, I have topo topographic map open. I am also going to open the tour. So file open, same place, computer, S share, north, all students, Google Earth files, and then choose land features place marks. Now, when you're zoomed out, the topo map is nice and white, kind of hard to see. So I'm going to go over to this tour right here and I'm going to expand it. I'm going to start on the second item. So I double click on Glacier National Park and it should take me right into Glacier National Park. Then I give it a few seconds to load, well, first of all, the zoomed in version and the topographic map. With this particular overlay, you get this refresh screen like you see right now. And from there, it should take only about five seconds. The problem with this overlay is anytime you then move or zoom out, it will have to refresh the screen. You'll notice it only gave me the topographic map for the area I was in, but again, it only takes about four to five seconds. And I can move it around if I want. It will, if I let go of it, it will have to refresh the screen, but I can take a look. I can zoom all the way in. I can even tilt after it refreshes with the topographic map on. So I can see it from more of like a ground level. And then let that refresh. Okay. And then what's really cool that was is a feature in Google Earth this year that wasn't there last year is I have my land features place marks tour over here. But oh sorry, I zoomed out. But if I go up to the US topo maps and I don't actually want to click on the link I just click so that that topo maps is highlighted then what I can do that's really neat here is see this little slider that slides your transparency so then you can not only just turn the layer on and off but you're actually able to look at the topographic lines and compare them to that satellite view so pretty neat